We have a candidate who wants to tear families apart and forcibly deport 11 million undocumented immigrants who calls Mexicans rapists. That is not who we are as a people. So I plan to continue calling out that kind of hateful speech whenever and wherever I see it. Because Latinos and Latinas, you're not strangers. You're not intruders. You're our neighbors, our friends, our families. That was Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton tearing into Donald Trump's rhetoric on Hispanics. She is fighting hard for the Latino vote, making her campaign a clear foil to the presumptive Republican nominee. Former Los Angeles Mayor Antonio Villarigosa joins me now from Los Angeles. Mr. Mayor, thanks so much for being with us. It's great to be with you again, Elaine. It's been a long time. It has been. Well, let's talk about this. You are a strong supporter of Hillary Clinton. Why? A strong supporter of Hillary Clinton because I've worked with her since the 90s. I know of her record. Uh, I was inspired by her effort at universal health care and actually did health care for children. 750,000 uh, children uh, got health care in California, no small part because of the work that she did. Uh, I've worked with her over the years as Secretary of State, uh, as a senator, and uh, I'll tell you, she's ready to be uh, Commander in Chief. Well, you've announced that you are forming a uh, new political action committee. What is your goal in creating that super PAC? Stopping Trump. I'll tell you, uh, and I'm not speaking as a Democrat, I'm not even speaking as a supporter of Hillary Clinton right now. I have, in my lifetime, never. Uh, at least since 1968, uh, seen such an openly uh, racist running for president of the United States, not since George Wallace have we seen a man like this. Uh, and he doesn't just talk about Mexicans, though of course he, he continues to rant about Mexicans being criminals and rapists and says, oh, maybe a few of them are okay. Uh, but he, he wants to close the doors uh, to Muslims, close their mosques, he disparages women uh, in a way and even makes fun of uh, the physically disabled. This is a man that's unfit to be commander in chief. He's a threat to our nation. And I'm going to do everything I can uh, to encourage uh, voters, uh, particularly new Americans, newly registered voters, to contact others uh, in purple states uh, in Arizona, Colorado, uh, and uh, Florida. Uh, among others, uh, to make sure that he's not elected president of the United States. At the same time, Mr. Mayor, we heard uh, from some Hispanic voters earlier in our documentary, they live in border towns. They feel the situation there is out of control and they support Donald Trump. What do you make of that? Well, first of all, let me speak to that. Uh, uh, the fact of the matter is there's been a net migration minus. In other words, more people are going back than are going uh, coming to the United States from Mexico. That's number one. That is a fact. Uh, we spend more money on the border control than we do on the FBI, the DEA, the ATF, and all the other federal law enforcement uh, agencies combined. Um, and so this notion that people are crossing the border illegally in, in hordes just isn't borne out by the facts. That's one. Two, uh, yes, we need to do more around uh, the issue of drugs and cartels. We provide the guns uh, in this country. As many people know, it's been documented that we provide those guns to those cartels. We also consume those drugs. So we have to address our responsibility uh, in that regard. You know, the fact of the matter is you can't build a wall uh, big enough uh, to address this situation. We have to be smart. Uh, we have to have comprehensive immigration uh, reform. Uh, and importantly, uh, nobody has argued uh, that there aren't some Latinos who will vote for Donald Trump. Uh, I think the, the, uh, the Fox poll indicated that maybe as many as 23 uh, percent uh, have indicated that they may do, though, do so. But in the end, the vast majority of Latinos, African Americans, Asians uh, are going to vote against him. Uh, and they're the fastest growing part of this electorate. They're about 31% of the electorate.
As you know, though, there is dissatisfaction with how both parties have handled this issue of illegal immigration, uh, Mr. Mayor. What do you say specifically to those voters that feel, for instance, under the Obama administration, not enough has been done to tackle this problem, things like border security? Well, actually, uh, this administration has deported more people than any administration in modern history. So the notion that uh, they haven't uh, enforced uh, security at the border is just not true. And as I said, and I think it's important to, to understand, there is a net migration minus. When you look at the deportations and you look at the people who are voluntarily going back, more people are going back than are coming to the United States. So the notion that they're coming in hordes, that they're crossing the border, that we need this, you know, wall that Mexico is going to build, just isn't borne out by the facts. And that's just, I'm not making it up. You mentioned In the fact, you know, I think you all have documented that the person who makes things up is Donald Trump. About 75 percent of everything he says, it's been documented, uh, is either a lie or a misrepresentation of fact. I want to go back to something you said a moment ago about the Obama administration and the number of deportations that have happened under his watch. Would Hillary Clinton continue those kinds of policies, policies which, as you know, have actually uh, been difficult for some advocacy groups on the Democratic side to support? Well, look, uh, I don't support him, and I've made that absolutely clear. Uh, and I don't think Hillary Clinton will either. I think Hillary Clinton will work day and night uh, to get comprehensive immigration reform. And after the Republicans lose three national uh, presidential elections in a row, I expect uh, that they're going to understand uh, that they're going to have to address this issue. Look. Our immigration system is broken. Both people on the right and on the left agree with that. We need to fix it and not just demagogue about it in the way that Donald Trump has done, threatening uh, the forced deportation of 11 million people. And just so you understand, no nation in, our, in modern history has ever deported 11 million people. And by the way, let's be clear. Uh, not all of them are from Mexico. Only about 60 percent of them, 65 maybe, uh, are from uh, Mexico. But the only country he talks about and the only people he focuses on are Mexican undocumented. And it's just not borne out in the facts. I want to turn to the next few days here. Donald Trump has said repeatedly that he plans to make a big play for California in the general. Uh, you've got the primary coming up. And, of course, California, a state that has voted for the Democratic nominee every election since 1992. It also has a Hispanic population of over 14 million. That said, is there some concern among Democrats where you are uh, about Donald Trump taking away some of that vote? <laughs> I mean, look. I not every voter in California is going to vote for Hillary Clinton, uh, but I can tell you uh, that the vast majority will. Uh, this is a solidly blue state in no small part because the last time this was tried in this state in 1994, uh, when I first ran for office uh, with Proposition 187, we've registered nearly 2 million Latinos. The vast majority of them are voting uh, Democrat. Uh, and lean Democrat. And I think you'll see in this election, they're going to respond uh, to Donald Trump. And I've said uh, the reason why he speaks the way he does about Mexicans is historically uh, we haven't become citizens in the numbers that we need to and the numbers that other groups do. And we haven't registered to vote and gone to the polls. Uh, this year, I think you'll see a surge. Uh, my uh, political action committee is focused on making sure that surge. Uh, defeats Donald Trump. All right. Former Los Angeles Mayor Antonio Villarigosa, thank you so much for your time, sir. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you.